Lee, it was a, a special day for this man, and we'll come to that in a minute. But before the game, he said to me, a point at the next game will tell me delighted, and this was a very comfortable three. It was. Um, I, I, the reason why I said that is because what we've got missing, um, you know, we've got a lot of players out. Yes, our own doing, lack of discipline. Um, but I, I know what side Sean's got on paper and, and how good they can be and, and I thought it was going to be a really difficult game and, and it was but we, we were good today, I thought we worked extremely hard and, and we're all about at the moment is working hard on the opposition and I thought we'd done that for long periods of the game. We were sloppy in possession at times uh, but I thought Joe White today was magnificent, absolutely superb, led by example and was, um, was, was really good. You know, we've had a little bit of luck, it's a very harsh two sending offs, but we've had it all season, so I have to take it when it comes, and I just wish we were a little bit more patient on the ball when, because they set up not to get beat anymore, and we could have just passed it for the rest of the game, and we tried to force it a few times, which we've got to learn, that take three points, get out, and, and that's done, and um, we didn't do that at times, but listen, we, we've come out with three points, and, and over the moon, for me, performance of the season, not on actual performance, but in terms of the three points of what we're missing out of the squad today was, was a credit to the boys. This is the first time league win and the first half I thought we were exceptional, we had full control. Were you disappointed we were only 2-0 off at the time? Yeah, I think we could have been 3 or 4, you know, they've had a cut of half chances but Dante done ever so well in goal, I thought we were solid and uh, we, we could have had more and, and probably should have had more but we never, but the chances we took, we got, we took and uh, you know, to get 2-0 was good. But it's a vulnerable scoreline and, and they were coming on the second half and I know they've come back before from 2-0 this season so I was a little bit nervous about that but listen, the sending offs have changed the game in favour of us today which is nice and um, yeah, listen, we've seen it out and it's a really, really good three points. So Joe scored an exceptional goal to put us 1-0 up. We then go 2-0 up by a gentleman standing to your left who's making his 400th headed appearance today. Dave, talk us through, your, talk us through the header. I mean, well, I can obviously we worked in it, we worked it on a train and I was in the back of the post and it finds me. Obviously as I can read the touch of the ball as it comes, I just attacked it in my head, it back to where it comes from, it always worked, to be honest. And obviously I'm delighted for the achieving 400 games today on the back of a win and a goal and to be fair, the boys perform really well, can't take that away from them. We back them, they've done extremely well today. I'm happy with the performance with them and you know, we can see the result in the level of the three point, that's what we're aiming for. As Lee said, the, the squad is threadbare really, isn't it, at the moment? You haven't got, a lot of players are unavailable. You said to me earlier that Sean Lucy is now on there, just to add to it all. So how, how important a win is it from the players' perspective, this one? And that's two successive wins. I mean, wins. we've got a few senior players in there, including myself. I'm just keeping the boys up, your head up. Like, I know we're missing a few players, but that never allow us to literally put our hands down and then we just roll our sleeves up and fight for the team, whatever we've got left, they're decent players. Like, there's no one better than anyone else in the team, everyone else who works hard and they're right to be able to play in the team. And today they showed that those boys that went missing, I give them credit, they're very good players. The ones we've got here, they show what they can do. So we, ain't got, we, we are under in no pressure. We keep doing it Tuesday and, and Saturday and Saturday. There's not many players yeah. who play 400 times for the same team. And you left us for a long time as well. It's an amazing achievement. Well, it is. I, I tried. I've been here for 10 years. I played a lot of games under Gary McCann and today I'm here with only um, some drama and so I'm delighted to be here. I feel like home here is one thing for me so I'm, I'm happy to play every single game and I'm looking forward to playing more games and more games. Hopefully I'll be healthy going forward. What do you say about this man? Credit to the football club. Um, I, I think the importance of um, of David and Kieran for this football club I don't think anyone will ever realise. They're, they're a massive part of the project. David's probably played more games now than he has done in the last four years consecutively. And he's had some injury issues, he's got sore groins, he's got bad ankles, but he just gets on with it. And, and Kieran Forbes very similar. And, and I said to, to Forbes on Tuesday, and I'll say the same to David now, they're so important to this club. They are the people that we look up to as management team to our players. They're the ones we rely on. I don't think he's really had a poor performance all season, to be honest with you. And um, he's, just a, he's just a fantastic man. And, and that's how I say it because he's not just a player at this club, he's, um, he's someone highly thought of, um, he's a credit to himself, he's a credit to this club and I'm very privileged to be working with him, I'm lucky to be working with him because I think a lot of clubs would want him um, and he's done great and, and I, I said to you the day I come into the club he was the one I always wanted and, and we've got him now and, and he just buys in, he's 33 years of age, he's the hardest trainer at the football club. 
I'd have to calm him down at times because he's still doing runs at the end of the night when we're trying to tell him, listen, we've got a game on Saturday. But he leads by example. Kieran Forbes leads by example and they're really important to this club. And David, is, is, I'm delighted for him there. The boys have just given him a clap. 400 games, that's a credit to anyone. And, and I promise you, the way he is and how fit he is, he can get 600, 700 at this club because he's that good. Um, so... No, he's, he's a credit, and I'm delighted to, to get the three points for him today, and it was for him, because 400 is, is a lot of games, and he left the club for three or four years as well, so what a credit to him, and uh, long may it continue. And a nice, peaceful night for you, it was your wedding anniversary, I think, yesterday, and uh, uh, you can relax tonight as well. Yeah, nice, nice, but you know, we, we know what we've got to do, you know, and, and uh, we, had a, we, had a, we had a great evening on Thursday, and welcome Brian McDermott, ex-Reading manager, Leeds manager, ex-football uh, uh, footballer, should I say, and he sat us all down and had a great chat with us and showed us some new techniques and some new things, and, and that's what we're going by now. It's one game at a time, you know, we, we're looking maybe a little bit too much into the future, and uh, one game at a time, we, we try and tick him off the best we can. We're not going to win every game, we know that. Um, but we are going to win some games, we're going to lose some games and we're going to draw some. So we mustn't get too high or too low and I have to remember that myself because last week was hard. 6-0 was a, was a drubbing and um, the boys have done ever so well to react from that Tuesday night and today. Take six points in the last two. I think Cam just said it there, I think we've taken 11 in the last 18. So we're, we're going in the right direction. We're not the finished article but we are, we're improving, we're getting better. The boys are understanding us and um, no, listen, long may it continue. Cheers.